Welcome back, my name is Jamie, and today we have, uh, we're, I'm not in the same exact spot as I was before, just because I realized some stuff that I need before I, uh, go on. Um, now here, I, I got a, a um, a cut whore, which is slaps, slaps is also cuts, so, found a max repel right here, ah, stupid charger, get out. <laughs> So, found a max repel there. Not really anything big. Gonna move through here. Get, come on. Nah, nah, door. Mm -mm. Stupid. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna use strength here. I got Manny to be able to strength. Or to be able to use strength. And I got a red shard. Oh, yeah. How many of those do I have right now? Please be 10. Please be 10. Please be 10. Please be 10. Ooh, three. Fucking great. <laughs> well, there's a parasol lady here. Hello, parasol lady. Um, a woman standing alone with a parasol and one hand at the beach. Hi, please have a battle with me. Nope. Okay, fine. This is Parasol Lady Laura, and she has a cast form. Well, it's not really raining or anything, so I guess everything is fine. And holy crap, why is it level 40? Am I underleveled again? No way. Okay, so it's going to use Sunny Day. So now it's going to turn into... The, uh, the fire cast form. Or the sun cast form. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the last game, I don't know if you guys know this, but this house over here actually uh, has the people who teach you the ultimate moves. I'm really annoyed with what Team Plasma said in the past, so I live with Pokemon without putting them in Pokeballs, but Pampor doesn't listen to me at all. <laughs> that sucks. It's like Bojangles. The creation of Pokeballs made it possible for everyone to be with Pokemon. Yes, everyone. Okay. What you got, boy? What am I doing? Hunting for treasure! Treasure hunting is fun. Sometimes things are buried in sand dunes. Actually, I just found something. But it's the same one as I found before, so I'll give this to you. Yellow flu. Alright. Okay. Well, I guess you're gonna be, uh, giving me stuff every day. Oop, there's an item up here. Oop, my bad. I said take the bicycle off. Gosh. Alright, so there's a big pearl here for any of you who uh, like big pearls, and there's some fishermen. Ah, oh, I got away. I almost caught it, too. Times like this call for a Pokemon battle. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Alright. There's Fisherman Damon. He's got a Basculin. Which really is not going to do anything to me. Because I've got Watson, and Watson is a boss. Ugh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Now, I'm not too sure where we're headed, just because, uh, I mean, we're not even close to Opelucid City. I don't know what we're doing here, or what it's, uh, what we're supposed to be doing. Ah, so close to leveling out. Phew, I lost again, but it was nice to take off my, uh, take my mind off fishing for a little bit. You know what's kind of cool? Watson is my oldest Pokemon, I think. Wait. No, no. Mustang is my oldest Pokemon. I think. I think. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Um, <clears throat> wow, the background looks really nice. But you've got an Alamomola, so it's uh, time to die for you. Sorry. It is a bad day to be an Alamomola. 
I don't know why they named it that. I don't. Uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, but still. It's no screech. Too freaking bad. Nope. Jones. I guess the number of Pokeballs I used to catch my Pokemon doesn't. I, I couldn't read that. Damn it. Okay. So we're going up here. And there's a pearl right here. Wow. I got lucky. Um. Ooh, cut! <gasps> what the fuck? Cobalion, what are you doing here? Cobra! Holy crap. No. No way. No way. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Just just because I can. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fight this thing or if I can catch it or anything like that. I'm probably gonna try to catch it. Just cause it's a freaking Cobalion. Cobra! Holy crap! I like this music. Sacred Sword that's going to do a lot of damage. Going to get the static off, which is even better. Now, try to heal up Watson. Oh, dang. This is cool. So technically, I could have gotten a Cobalion and a Nuzlocke. Okay, uh... So I'm gonna try to catch it in a luxury ball, although its catch rate is pretty dang high, so I doubt I'm actually gonna catch it. One... Yeah, see? <clears throat> retaliate. Do not use retaliate. Stop that. This is so freaking cool. There's a possibility for you to catch a Cobalion and a Nuzlocke. I don't know why, but this guy, like, reminds me of, like, a French, a French version of Suicune. Now, this thing is probably, no, this thing is definitely going in the disqualified box. But, I mean, it's kind of nice to have. Fuck. Come on. Iron Head, stop that. Um. Why does it no helping hand, okay? That makes, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. I freaking love luxury balls. Okay, I'm not using luxury balls anymore. <clears throat> Come on now. I'm not going to be using my master ball on this thing. That would be a waste of a master ball. What the heck? Dude. And you're paralyzed. <laughs> Watson, you are a boss for taking it up here. For uh, taking a legendary on and still surviving. Even with eliminates. Come on. Get in the freaking ball. One, two, three. Dude, come on. Oh man, I need more lemonades. I got 15 left. 
and you're paralyzed. Ha 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 ha. Go suck a wiener. Let's see here. Ultra ball. Come on, get in the ball. Get in the freaking ball. Alright, so I'm not actually going to be using this guy uh, in my Nuzlocke, but I mean, this is, how, this is how hard it is to catch him, this, and this is where you can catch him. Oh gosh. Cobalion is paralyzed. Come on. Ugh. Okay. One. Dude. Stop it. Stop it. One, two, three. Yes! Okay. Alright, so we got Cobalion, Cobalion. And I always give my Pokemon nicknames, anyways. It has a body and a heart of steel. It worked with its allies to punish people when they hurt Pokemon. Good! Give me a nickname. Yes! Let's name him. Oh god, what do I name this thing? Uh, off the top of my head. Callum. There we go. His name is Callum, and he is cool. What's this way? Right there. Oh. Well, it doesn't tell me what this way is. Yes, use a repel. I don't want to freaking run into any more Pokemon. Max Ether. I guess that's fine. Blue Shard, dang it! Why can't it be a Red Shard? Come on, please. I'm begging you here. Alright, what's this way? Scooch. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't remember this house. Oh, Wingle! Pico! What are you doing here? This Pokemon used to deliver mail to everyone. I know, I'll give you the power band this Pokemon brought. <gasps> Power band. That's for EV training. Doesn't matter to this Pokemon, even if it can't battle very well. Reek, reek. Okay, what does the power band do? I forgot. Uh, promotes special defense, but reduces the speed stat. I'd be cool with that. I'll probably be training with that a little in a little bit. I like to go to Pokestar Studios. I've been there for a while. I'm a fan of Mr. Studio. Hope new winner is emerged to the PWT. Okay, so these guys are pretty much just uh, advertising the Pokemon shit in the Pokemon game. How pro. Um, no, there's nothing over there. Uh, so I guess I think we go this way now. And if we go this way, we'll be able to. Frick, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, there's a. I don't want to go over there. Screw it, we'll go. Ah! For you guys. Oh, it's over there. How do I get over there? I can't get over there. Not right now, at least. Well, at least it doesn't look like I can get over there. Maybe I have to do something else or something. Yeah, I can't go in from this way. And we are at Lacunosa Town. What the heck? How did Bianca beat me here? What? Hi there, Jamie. <clears throat> I use fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Oh, you bitch. Thanks for your help at, in Reversal Mountain. If you go straight past Lacunosa Town, you'll reach Opelucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you two to hear. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. Okay. Where are we going? Hello. You must be the ones who want to hear that old tale about Lacunosa Town. That's right. Please tell us. All right, my dearies. Please come in. Should I do voices for these guys? I think I should do voices for these guys. I'm climbing in your windows, jacking your people up. Behind Lacunosa Town, there is a mighty big hole. Have you heard of the giant chasm? 
Oh, I've heard about that. That around the giant... Uh, I've heard that around the giant chasm, there have been brief temperatures reading... Temperature readings of negative 58? Jesus! That's what Sharon told me anyway. That's ridiculous! That is freezing! That's... Oh my god! The road is blocked, so we can't get there now. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite? When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. Oh my god! That's why everyone was afraid. Showed your finger, you slut! The Pokemon ate people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. A fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. You slut. Everyone, we should be going. Okay. Damn. I know you're hiding from some from me. That sure is scary standing Pokemon, even in an old folk tale. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna fight that later, believe it or not. Wasn't that an interesting interesting folk tale? The Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know, the power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. It is the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram, who scorched Dunova with blazing fire long ago. By the way, Jamie, do you remember the story of Reshiram? Yes. So you remember I told you as a little... Uh, oh gosh. So I remember I told you a little about it in Lintimus Town. Reshiram is a legendary dragon-type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero to seek truth. It also has a white body and can send forth ferocious flames. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon? The Meteorite. The Meteorite? Reshiram was revived from a rock called the Light Stone. Let's suppose the Meteorite from the old story and this stone are, th are one and the same. Take into account that the elements from the same era were found in the Dragon Spiral Tower, where, where Reshiram was, and the Giant Chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a p piece of the puzzle. Let's not rise it, write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, this should be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to come only out, only out at night? Like if it doesn't like sunlight or something like that. Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the, n the name Lacunosa Town could be derived from Lacunosis clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or fence. I wonder if the name is related to any part of the story where they built the walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I ramble on for a bit. Yes, I'm tired of talking. Jamie, could you ask Drayden about this, if you get a chance? I'm going to do a little bit of field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. Why couldn't Bianca go? She has fly. Ugh. Just so you know, Opelucid City's mayor, Drayden, wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen him up. Oh, God. Professor Juniper, wait up! Oh gosh, this is not gonna be good. Okay, well, what do I do now? My Pokemon just runs around on its own. Maybe it doesn't need a trainer. Go, go! Oh, ooh! Full heal. Uh, useless. Let's see up here. What you got? I don't have anything to do ever since I took a post here. Nobody, since nobody goes out at night. Peaceful. Ah, it's peaceful out at night because no one goes out at night. I didn't say I wanted to water, I was just talking. Ah, It was just small talk, you whore. No. No. The big scary monster that comes out at night is a Pokemon, right? It must ha be a really scary Pokemon if everyone believes the legend and follows these rules. Welcome to Lacunosa Town. In this town, people live as methodically as clockwork from morning to night. If you live your life soaking up sunlight... You can sleep very well at night. Okay. Rectum, what are you doing here? What's up? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard a rumor to that effect. Dude! No! Get the hell out of here. Zinzalin. For crying out loud, this is troublesome indeed. My curious trainers. 
Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I am still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokeballs are civilization. Humans who are used to civilization do not relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what will happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People will be forced to throw out Pokeballs, a, pro a product of civilization. And I want to know what that looks like. And I want to enjoy it. <laughs> Shut your mouth, bitch. Fuck your parents, I'm a train. <laughs> All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Jamie, give me a hand, you ready? Yeah, just to let you know. You're about to p feel my rage. Spit, 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 you slut. Okay. The music of this episode is awesome. Oh, I freaking hate Cryogonal. Go die, Cryogonal. So he's using, using Leaf Blade on the Cryogonal, which isn't going to do that much. Oh, gosh. Critical hit. Okay. And then I'm going to use a Discharge. Which is a little bit to him, and it's super effective on the Golbat. Almost kills it. Now he's going to use an Acrobatics, which does a whole butt ton of damage to the Superior. And there's a Sneasel out now. Um, I guess right now I'm just going to keep Discharging. Uh, not too sure what else I can do at the moment. And he knocks out the Golbat. I'm going to take out the Sneasel with a Discharge. Um, I don't really give a damn about uh, his superior. It can die for all I care. Uh, he now has a Garbodor. What the heck am I supposed to do against that? Um, right, I'm going to heal up a little bit. Um... Alright, Sneasel used Slash and knocked out the Superior, which is not good for me. Um, body Slam. And I got the Static Off, which is even better. Now, one thing you want to avoid when uh, having a Garbodor on the field. Uh, Garbodor has the ability Stench, so if you attack it with a physical attack, it'll, uh, it'll make you flinch and won't allow you to move, so... Normally, you kind of want to use uh, special attacks. Nice. Garbodor is paralyzed. I'm going to try to use a shockwave on the Garbodor, see what that does. He's going to use a flame burst, most likely going to take it out. Yeah. Whew, alright. Doing good. What blunder to make in front of Zinzelin. That pressure I felt from you just now. I didn't read the rest of it. Fuck. What's with these two? I'm battling alongside Zinzelin. This shouldn't be happening. These trainers remind me of the one that one from two years ago. More important, we must search. We, <laughs> we must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it may be in an opalucid city. We'll play with you again later. <laughs> Get back here! Well, I guess we're gonna try to run after them. Uh, I don't really have anything better to do except in the episode right now because next time we will be taking on. Uh, ooh. Can I see your gym badges? Yes. A bolt badge. You got the bolt badge with Sand Slash, Delcaddy, Elekid, Tranquil, Lucario, and Dewa. <gasps> oh, Dewa! Alright, how about the basic badge? Riolu, Pidov, and Oshawa. Pidov, Elekid, Riolu, and Daywat. Oh, this is sad. Tranquil, Daywat, Elekid, Lucario, Delcaddy, and Zubat. Oh, Zubat died! <laughs> Sand Slash, Delcaddy. Yeah, we got, we got that one. Quick badge. Daywat, Lucario, Delcaddy, Sand Slash, Tranquil, and Electabuzz. Jet badge. Electabuzz, Delcaddy, Sand Slash, Azumarill, and Lucario. 
Dang, this is cool. Okay, anyways, this has been a very, very long episode. I'm, oh gosh. We're getting close to uh, episode 50, so might have a uh, half an hour special there. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. I love your faces.